music is like therapy for real. You know, like um, whenever you're going through something, it's like always a song that will help you get through whatever it is you're going through. And um, I just feel like without music, I mean, we, I mean, what would we really be for real? You know what I'm saying? I'll give you an example. Coming up, I used to play football when I was young growing up. But my dad would never let me sit in front of the TV and watch football. Because he said, if you had the time to sit in front of the TV to watch football, you watch the next man do it. You need to be outside grinding for real. So when it comes to influence, I mean, it's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. There's a couple people you, you might be like, you know what? Yeah, that was real. I'm going to remember that. And if I ever get put up in a situation like that, I might do it like that for real. But, um, I mean, it's hard to really just put a name on it exactly. I tell you what, you want to get your name out there, you got to do everything. You know what I'm saying? I used to do shit like I knew the kids were coming out of school. I used to have cards on my Instagram, my, my number on it, and they want to book me or anything. And I'd be waiting at the school gate, passing them out. I used to make CDs, you know. Pass out free CDs. I even sold a couple CDs, um, and just always been about my music for real. Like anybody come around me, you know what I'm saying? Like they gonna know. Okay, yeah, that's what he wanna do. That's what he do for real. You know what I'm saying? I just be about my music. The new generation is all like media for real. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be popping on your media for real. And um, I mean, I just I'm a little different when it comes to it. I like to meet you in person, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like they gonna feel you when you're in person. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different. With the media, they don't really feel you like, I feel like they don't get to feel you like how they really should, you know what I'm saying? So they they going off of that character you make, you know what I'm saying? But when they see you in person, they know that's the real deal, you know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, the new generation, they like to like, it's all about content, you know what I'm saying? And, some niggas create content. Some niggas really live it for real. I know I know a lot of young niggas in my city that's they really doing this shit for real. You feel me? And they just getting overlooked. Like ain't nobody paying no type of attention. For real, for real. Why do you think that is? I mean, cause it's Naples, you know? Like everybody expect Naples to just be a good old city. I mean it's one of the richest cities in the United States. People don't expect anything to happen down there. And be honest with you, Naples so rich shit be happening, they won't even put it on the news for real. They just cover it up. So I feel like that's one of the main reasons we really slept on over on that side. The city kinda separated too. It's zone three and it's zone six. Niggas in zone three don't really fuck with niggas in zone six. You know what I'm saying? I'm repping three all day. But uh niggas in zone six like it's niggas that make good music, you feel me? I ain't finna be no hater and just act like niggas ain't really putting in word. They putting in word, but them niggas, the way they feel about it is, since you from zone three, we don't even wanna play your shit. We don't wanna give you no chance cause you from zone six. You feel me? A nigga from zone three, a nigga from zone three don't even see it like that. You just gonna drop his shit and keep that shit pushing. If we in a motherfucking club, you feel me? A nigga gonna do his thing. He ain't, he don't give a fuck about the next nigga hating on some rapper shit. We don't got no time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's niggas that fuck with you, that show you love, that bump your shit on daily, that seeing them Snapchat videos, bumping your shit, getting lit in the motherfucking club. You feel me? And then you got niggas that, they get mad if a nigga play your shit. They wanna, you feel me, act like your shit ain't worth playing. Coming out, you gotta really push your shit. You gotta have that little backup cash to get what you need done, you know? And um, in order to get that cash, you know, if you ain't really working a nine to five or you really out here for real, you putting in some extra hours in another place, you know what I'm saying? And that's the difference between niggas who make it and niggas who don't make it too, is whatever you invest your time in more, that's where you're gonna prosper in more. You see what I'm saying? And for me, I had to kind of realize that, sit back and started, you know, putting my priorities together and started asking myself, what do I really want, you know? And once I realized it was the music, I just started running with it for real, you know? Success to me is to be able to, you know, uh, take care of my family like the way I would like to for real, you know what I'm saying? Make sure my people ain't got to struggle, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, um, I want to like to be balling and you feel me? Like for example, my niggas ain't doing nothing, you feel me? Or my people, they're still struggling. To me, that wouldn't be success at all. Success to me is, accomplishing your goals, you know, knocking them out, even if they just small goals, it's gonna help you get to the big goal. Um, knocking that out and, 
you feel me? Usually you're gonna set a goal, a big goal. Once you get to that big goal, you knew, okay, I accomplished that, that's success for real. Everybody got their own success. It's whatever you choose for it to be success. Some niggas wanna go to the NFL. If they don't make it to the NFL, they feel like they ain't success. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas wanna make it to the Pro Bowl. If they make it to the NFL, but they don't make it to the Pro Bowl, they feel like they have a complete success. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas just want a hundred K, some niggas want a million. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was first coming out, and I would show somebody my music, motherfucker hit me with the, I like the beat. All right, cool. You like the beat? I ain't showing you the motherfucking beat. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feel that question for real. I really do. I feel like it's the lyrics. You gotta listen to the lyrics. You gotta hear what he's saying. You gotta hear what he's talking about. You don't know what the artist's talking about. You just listen to the beat. You missing out on the whole song. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's the lyrics. You feel me? And um, you do gotta pay the beat some credit too. Get the producer's little credit. If it's a hot beat, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but mainly when you listen to a song, you want to listen to the lyrics. You can sit at the trap all day, you feel me, and wait who comes to the door, who calls you, or you can ride around town with the dope, taking a risk, and every area in town you hit, you call that clucker and be like, yo, what you got going today, Zach? What you got going, you up? Hey, let me stop by and throw you, you know, wake up. You feel me? Now he got to wake up, he hooked, he calling you right back, and now your day started, you know what I'm saying? So I look at it the same way with the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Like. You gotta go knocking at the doors. You feel me? Knocking the doors. That's really what it is. My boy PA. My boy PA the fool, man. He up in Pittsburgh. He made the beat. Alright. Um I fought with PA too. PA a real nigga for real. Um He actually created a couple of other beats I got too, but that's all you know, locked up in the vault right now. But um he just he was like always kind of there for real in the background. He'd call me, you feel me, when I was down, when I, when I felt like, man, I gotta go get this money, I ain't worried about that shit right now. He'd get my mind right, you know, when, that, when, I, when I'm missing an action. BJ, what you got, where, where you at with it? You know what I'm saying? So he sent me the beat. Once he sent me the beat, I was just like, I don't want him to feel like he wasting his time, you know what I'm saying? He sent me this beat, he sent it for me for a reason. So that same day I hit the studio. And I recorded it, and my goal was to send the bitch back the next day. Cause all these other rappers be talking about, like, I got to beat today, and you feel me? I just went in the studio, knocked that bitch out. So I just wanted to be like, a hey, one with it, you feel me? He sent the beat, went in the studio, knocked that bitch out, sent it back. And when I sent it to him, the man called me, and that shit just let me know, like, this is where I need to be at with it, like, for real. What's your expectations when it comes to collaborating with somebody? Um. You gotta be a real nigga, that's for sure. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't a real nigga, I ain't gonna do no song with you. You just gotta be like, really about your music for real. You wasting time, you just wanna giggle around with the shit, I don't wanna waste my time with you. You know what I'm saying? Cause who you surround yourself with, that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? I did a, uh, I did a feature with Jimmy Wapo. You feel me? Rest in peace, Jimmy. That's a real nigga right there, for real. Um. That shit, I mean, he definitely, he definitely was talented and definitely got his work effort. That's crazy. I even tell you a little story. We was in the studio and uh, every time he go in the booth, you feel me? Cause we going back to back on the track. Every time he go in the booth, he leaves the headphones on the ground. You feel me? And I start feeling the type of way. Like, I feel like, I don't know if he trying me. Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I had asked him about it like, Jimmy, what's up with the headphones, man? He like, man, I kill that shit. I kill that shit. Murder. That's it. You feel me? Yeah. And I fought with it. You feel me? I fought with it because it's like, I get it. I fought with it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? It didn't have nothing to do with me. It was just, that's just how he worked. You know what I'm saying? He going that bitch and he felt like he really murdered that shit. And that's just what it was for real. I like that word that. When I can see like, for example, like when you really want something, some people gonna say you crazy. Some people gonna be like, man, that nigga crazy for real. You see the type of shit he'll do? You feel me? Cause your drive inside of you gonna push you to just do it. You feel me? Some people might look at you crazy, but you know what you're doing. You feel me? And I felt like that was his little swag. That was just his way that kept him going too. You know what I'm saying? So when I hit the booth nowadays, you feel me? Like I be all focused, all tuned in. And if I'm doing a song with a nigga, the nigga gotta be the same way. Cause it's, I ain't finna waste my time for real. I mean, some people would say freestyle is more real because it's running through your mind, you just spin it out. Don't get me wrong, I can freestyle now. 
Don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I can jump in that booth and do my thing for real. But when I write a song, it's like, that's really how I'm feeling, you feel me? I was going through some shit, and boom, I gotta talk about it. And I let that shit build up too much, now it's time to just drop that down, let that shit get off my chest, you feel me? So I, I like writing my music, and I like going over it, going over it. To the point when I go to the studio, I ain't even gotta look at the past. So niggas might be like, oh, he freestyling, but I ain't freestyle, I wrote it. I just got it in my mind now, you know what I'm saying? The shit I got in the vault, I'm getting ready to release when I drop my album. That shit, I could, someone could be like, yeah, that shit kinda helped me change my life, or that shit helped me guide me, you feel me? They know me as a dope boy, that shit ain't guiding nobody, you know what I'm saying? That's for the streets to turn up to. That's for a get money nigga to pull up in that bins and be like, I'm getting money right now, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I mean, I, I got niggas hit me up all the time, be like, yeah, BJ, your shit snapping, BJ, keep going, I fuck with you, like that, but I, I haven't had anybody really be like, you know, your music take my life, and me in the right direction, because I haven't drawn no music like that yet. Listen, listen, this is what I knew, this is when I knew I was kind of doing something for real. Mm -hmm. I was walking through the mall, right? This young dude, you feel me, and he had three bad bitches with him, three, all right? I see him too, I see the bitches, you feel me, but I'm just minding my business. For real, and then I had walked past him, and homie turned around and left the bitch and BJ. And I turned around, and I look, here's homie trying to, you know, come up, dab me up. I said, What's up? And he feel me, dab him up, show him some love, cause he showed me some love or whatnot. But it just let me know, like, damn, that nigga left three bad bitches just to say what's up to me. That's real. I fought with it. You feel me? Shit like that, I'm, that shit motivate too, you know what I'm saying? Shit motivate, and um, I ain't gonna lie to you. I forgot the question. <laughs> I feel like it's it's, it's kind of fucked up, you know. It kind of really is, cause like, like I said, my music ain't changing niggas' lives right now. My music just turned up, get right, you know what I'm saying? So like, sometimes I be like praying to God and I be asking for forgiveness. Cause I feel like I'm guiding some of my young niggas in the wrong direction, and that's why I really wanna on this album. I wanna hit for real because. I want my niggas to open their eyes up a little bit, cause you know, some of my niggas, I don't see them, like, I got niggas locked up right now, for real, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like my music kinda had niggas turning up a little too much, you feel me? Getting a little too fucked up, wanna party a little bit, you feel me? Wanna turn up with these hoes a little too much. I mean, it's not always a good thing, for real. I got my homeboy Bobby, like, that nigga show me love, you know what I'm saying, to the point like, Really, I ain't even know him from a can of paint, but then someone so introduced me to him because so and so was fucking with my music. So and so even took a trip, you feel me, to Miami, you feel me, just to see me perform and shit. So and so was out there promoting, doing this thing for real, and he introduced me to Bobby. And then fucking Bobby listened to the music, and ever since, Bobby don't like, Bobby felt like that's him. He felt like he don't want to rap it, you know what I'm saying? So that shit be lit for real. That's just like, Keep a nigga motivated, keep going, or whatnot. When I first started sound dope, I used to hang out with the dope boys too. You feel me? Matter of fact, it was three of us, we was with each other 24 7, motel to motel, trapping, never stop, you feel me? But then, some shit had happened, and my same nigga that was with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga told on me. Like, real deal told on me, this my nigga. You know what I'm saying? When, when that shit happened, that shit really hurt me for real. And it had me like, I don't trust, I don't, I don't fuck with everybody, I don't wanna be around everybody. And then I just started selling dope solo. Once I started doing that, you feel me? Like, for example, I pull up on my custom house, you feel me? I know he gonna call me right back in 10 minutes. So I figured why not just chill there, smoke my blunt, write a couple raps. But the time that I'm spending at his house, hanging out with him, that's wasting time too though. You feel me? Cause he a clucker. You feel me? What the hell is he gonna tell me to push me further than what I'm trying to do? You know what I'm saying? So, what I learned is you gotta surround yourself with people that's on the same page as you or doing better than you to help you grow. You feel me? If you surround yourself with motherfuckers who ain't even give a fuck about music or who ain't on the same page with you, you're holding yourself back. So, once I realized that, I cut off a lot of people. You know? I cut off a whole bunch of people and I don't try to turn around and look back or feel bad because I know I'm doing myself good. You know what I'm saying? And the same people that you think you helping out, you might fuck around and help them out, you feel me? And they taking from you just to turn around and spit in your face and be like, you ain't up this shit for me. You know what I'm saying? So before that even happens, you need to focus on you 
You know what I'm saying? If you focus on you, you're going to see you can't be wasting time with motherfuckers who don't give a fuck. So who would you say your definition of a solid person is? Someone that's just themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really got to be you, you know what I'm saying? And um, someone that, I mean, I'll give you an example. Like, for me, when I say, like, yourself, you know, we are in the image of God, for real. So I feel like everybody should strive to try to be like God, you feel me? And I feel like that's being yourself at the same time, you know what I'm saying? If you try to be like God, you try to be like yourself because we are in the same image as God. So anybody that's trying to do good, you feel me, and um, lead in the right way, I can respect, you feel me. I feel like that's solid. Anybody that has a pure heart, that's solid. Um, anybody that's doing extra shit that just wants attention, you feel me, going out their way to make a friend, to me that ain't solid. I mean, anybody that wanna jump on the bandwagon seeing this, they see your shit, you feel me? Going up, that ain't solid to me, but a nigga like me don't give a fuck, so I forgive you. So my advice to the young boys out there is if you in school, get them grades, man, go to college, keep your mommy and your daddy happy so you can keep them blessings coming in and do what you do for real. But um, if you in the streets already, you know what I'm saying? Have a goal, have a purpose, get that money and get the fuck out. That's all.